What is up with Metal Gear Solid 4's ending? Right off the bat, I'm gonna give a huge spoiler warning for Metal Gear Solid 4. This video will ruin the twist ending. Also spoilers for Metal Gear 1, Metal Gear 2, and Metal Gear Solid 3. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Luffy and welcome to my channel. I love talking about Metal Gear Solid and video games in general. Today's video is a little different. This is more of an opinion piece of a few gripes I have with Metal Gear Solid 4's ending. Metal Gear Solid 4 is often criticized for how fan servicey it is, and I wholeheartedly believe that MGS4's ending is in alignment with this criticism. Why does Big Boss feel the need to butt his big face into things? Were Zero and the Patriot AIs not strong enough villains that Big Boss felt like he needed to show up and refocus the plot? Let's go through things piece by piece. The Graveyard First things first, why was Snaven in the graveyard that holds the boss? How does that make any sense at all? It looks like Snaven is visiting the boss's grave, but why would he know where the boss is buried, and more importantly, why would he care? The boss didn't have a direct impact on his life, and so far as he knows, she's a traitor to her country responsible for almost causing World War III. I've read that Snaven was actually there to visit Gray Fox's grave, but that makes even less sense. Why is Gray Fox buried in the same graveyard as the boss? The boss was buried as a nameless patriot in a memorial cemetery. She was an operative of the US government and was thus given a place in a memorial cemetery, though her official status as a traitor meant her grave marker would need to be anonymous. So why would Gray Fox be buried next to her? Yes, Gray Fox was once an agent of the US Special Forces Unit Foxhound, but when Big Boss disappeared in 1995 to rebuild his PMC after its destruction in Outer Heaven, Gray Fox went with him. Gray Fox went with Big Boss to Zanzibar land to help rebuild his PMC. Gray Fox abandoning Foxhound to follow Big Boss would make him an enemy to the US. So why on earth would he be buried next to the legendary soldier, the boss? Metal Gear Solid is known for its convoluted answers to seemingly simple questions. Why is Vamp seemingly unkillable and possesses superhuman abilities? Nano machine, son. He's not called Vamp because he's a vampire, it's because he's bisexual. His vampire traits are actually because of tiny little nano machines repairing his body every time he's injured so quickly that they give him the illusion of immortality. But the question of why is Snaven in the boss's cemetery saluting a grave near hers is never addressed and is endlessly confusing. It feels lazy, like Snaven in that point is just an audience stand-in, saluting her grave because the fans would love to see it. I'm used to every little detail being explained, which I know is a common complaint for Metal Gear Solid, that everything has to have an explanation, and I totally get that complaint, but why have the answers stopped at something as important as placing Snavid, a man who has never met the boss, in the boss's cemetery? Why does Big Boss show up? Okay, we've covered the bizarreness of the setting. Now let's cover the bizarreness of BB showing up in the first place. Why is BB coming to that cemetery? Not only does he show up, but he wheels Zero out to the cemetery with him. Though he sets Zero up in a different place in the cemetery from where he enters at for a dramatic effect when he sees Snavid, which is also weird. Why did he wheel Zero in, then run back and enter from a different angle? What, just for the shock factor when he introduces Zero into the scene after talking to Snavid for a little while? I assume BB's there to pay his respects to the boss and has brought Zero along so that he could pay his respects too before BB kills him. BB bringing Zero along to say goodbye to the boss before he kills him is a really sweet thought and something I could see BB doing. Still though, him happening to come to the cemetery at the same time as Snavid is one hell of a coincidence. When BB starts talking to Snavid, it seems like he's meant to be there as a vessel to explain the plot to him and to us, the player, which is so strange. Why is BB used to explain the plot? It would have made more sense for Naomi to show up to explain the plot. Yes, I know she's dead, but her death was also shoehorned in and could just as easily have not happened. Naomi has a personal stake in the plot, or even Eva could have avoided her death and showed up to explain the plot. But then, if BB and Zero hadn't shown up, then we wouldn't have completed the family reunion that is MGS4, I suppose. The fan service in this game is staggering. Snavid's confusing reaction when confronted with his arch enemy. I know MGS3 did a lot to humanize BB in the eyes of the fans, but have we forgotten what BB put Snavid through into Metal Gears 1 and 2 and Metal Gear Solid 1? Liquid attributes his actions to Big Boss, so we can blame Big Boss for the slog Snavid fights through in MGS1. Big Boss feeds Snavid false information in Metal Gear 1 and in Metal Gear 2, he turns his best friend Gray Fox against him. Fox, I'll beat some sense back into you. Snake. It's time for you to learn why they call me Fox. Big Boss fills Snavid's head full of lies like, You care nothing for power, or money, or even sex. The only thing that satisfies your cravings is war. And the confrontation ends with Big Boss promising to free Snavid from his misery, 
though Snape had best BB and burns him to the ground with his makeshift flamethrower. So why doesn't Snape start blasting BB on sight? What could he possibly think the man he'd burned alive would want with him? other than to disarm him and then finish what they started back in Zanzibar land. The last time Bibi and Snape had saw each other, Bibi was out of his mind and talking about purposefully killing parents and kidnapping their kids to train to fight in his army. He was a never-ending cycle of war, destroying territories and families to feed his warped perception of a soldier's need to constantly be on the battlefield to feel fulfilled. Just kidding, he's a softie now in need of a hug. That last coma must have done quite a number on Bibi to change him so drastically. Still though, Snape had, had no way of knowing Bibi had had a change of heart. The two were standing so close together that closing the gap to disarm Snape was the right move to make, regardless of whether he wanted to kill him or give him a hug. Bibi's hug doesn't even make sense. Oh, I never thought of you as a son, but I've always respected you as a soldier. So it's not that Bibi has accepted Snape as his son and that's why he gives him a hug. And I know in the beginning of the scene he calls Snape son, but he also corrects himself to wonder if he should instead call him brother. This indicates Bibi isn't sure of how to refer to Snape, not that he thinks of him that way, and he clarifies later that he doesn't think of him as his son. Maybe he hugs him out of mutual respect, soldier to soldier, as both of them have fought through horrific missions and made it out the other side? Who knows? His hug comes out of nowhere and there's no justification for it. Also, can we take a moment to talk about Liquid? All Liquid wanted was a father's love and instead of getting the hug he craves, I doubt that hug meant much to Snavid. He's used as a body farm to piece Bibi's body back together. Liquid's always getting passed over and it's messed up. Bibi should have recovered Liquid's arm and gave it a hug instead. Then his ghost could finally rest and stop haunting Ocelot. All in all, it's confusing how many chances Snape is willing to give Bibi when he has no reason to give him a chance at all. Bibi is a terrifying monster in Metal Gear 2, and Snape has no reason to believe he's changed when he first sees him. Snape isn't one of Bibi's blondes. He should have started blasting the moment he saw him. I would have. Metal Gear Solid 4's True Plot You thought Metal Gear Solid 4 was about stopping the Patriot AIs? Wrong. It's actually about putting Humpty Dumpty, aka Big Boss, back together again and killing Zero so that the mistakes Zero makes in trying to control the world would never be repeated. Other than Liquid Ocelot loudly trying to get his hands on Big Boss's remains, there's nothing in MGS4 that alludes to this secret subplot, which is lazy writing. It feels like MGS4 was three quarters of the way written and then someone realized they hadn't added BB in yet and had to for the BB fans, but then also kill him since this is supposed to be the last Metal Gear Solid. BB's resurrection is playing a huge role in the background. Eva and even Ocelot's subplots are all about it. So why doesn't it come into play during the actual game? Metal Gear Solid is so great at bringing up questions that are later answered. Let's look at Metal Gear Solid 1. There are so many mysteries brought up right from the get-go. Who's this Liquid character? Why does he keep calling Snape a brother? Why does the DARPA chief's body look like it's been rotting away for weeks when he just died an hour ago in front of Snape? Why does everyone keep having heart attacks after talking to Snape? All of these questions keep us hooked, and as each one slowly gets answered, it makes MGS1 that much more of a compelling storyline. MGS4 does none of this. Sure, there are questions as to what Liquid Onslaught is doing and why, but there's no question that would lead us to Bibi's resurrection. There's so much more I could say about how badly written and unnecessary MGS4's ending is, but I'll leave things here for now. If y'all want to see a part two, please let me know in the comments and like this video. What were your thoughts about MGS4's ending? Did you like it or hate it? What was your reaction when BB showed up? Thank you so, so much for making it to the end of my video. Please subscribe and turn notifications on. It really helps the channel out. More importantly than that, though, please take care of yourself and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you. Ha 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 ha